Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone, so take what fits and leave the rest out. We have the Sun with Caring Connections. So there's almost a realization here, possibly uh, someone might have taken for granted, uh, really feeling cared for as if... Uh, you know, you gave an ultimate sacrifice, making them feel as if they were worth something. Especially with the overflow of water here, it seems like uh, it's finally come to that point that they understand this. Uh, you were the best thing in my life. I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, someone's come to the realization here that uh, you were the best of the best, right? They may not have seen it before or acknowledged it. Overall energy, Ten of Swords. This is about an ending here as well as, uh, you know, getting down and ending the energy of anxiety, of worry and stress of a situation, okay? So let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have King of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Four of Wands. So this week, it looks like you might get a lot of attention, okay, or people really viewing you. Could be on social media here or pictures you post, um, but they're really hitting people's hearts, okay? So even though they may not say things, it looks like people are really connecting with you on a different level. Uh, I do see in regards to your person, you really feel like they haven't opened up emotionally to you, uh, but you feel like during this whole connection, they kind of held back. But you also feel like there's something a little different about this person, okay? And that they know it too. But right now, you're just focused on your own well-being, okay? And your life. So let's see what's going on in their energy. We have Ace of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and Seven of Cups. This person's missing you a lot. Really can't stand being on the outs with you. Uh, they're wanting to come out of the cold here, uh, wanting to offer something, but they feel like they don't have enough to offer. Seven of Cups. How should I do this here? Uh, they may not feel the same way they did in the past. So they're feeling like they, the way that they left things, they don't even have what they offer you is not even going to be enough for you at this time. Okay, tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune, yeah, times have changed, Two of Wands, so they have to go about this in a different way, okay, so let's see what's happened in the past here, Five of Swords, Three of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. So this person, I can already tell just the difference in energy from the present to the past. They're carrying a lot of shame and guilt for what they've done to you here. And they know they've hurt you deeply by neglecting your needs in this connection. Five of Swords, Three of Swords, this person could tend to hurt you a lot. And especially when it comes to communication, they could say things that, uh, you know, made you feel as low as they have. So the energy that they've been in for a long time, regardless of you, is kind of on the negative spectrum. So they definitely felt like, you know, they always got the short end of the stick in life, always felt like nothing ever went their way, and they're more in a lower vibe energy. And they couldn't stand that here you come shining and you feel perfect in every way and they don't want to lose you, but at the same time they don't want you they couldn't stand that you're in this high vibe energy and they're in this low and so they felt like they needed to manipulate your energy to make you feel the way that they felt. Okay, tell me about the Five of Swords. I'm seeing a lot of pain here, Taurus, um, that was put upon you. Uh, Ten of Wands, this is performance punishment, yeah. So for a lot of you, it's feeling very intense. They definitely made you hit, hit rock bottom here, Ten of Swords. Uh, and at times you felt really betrayed by this person or stabbed in the back. And as if they were trying to hurt you by their words or their actions here. 
but they were pushing the limit and testing the limit with you a lot to see where your loyalty lies, if you will stay in it even through the worst of times. Okay, but the only problem is they didn't test the good times, right? So in the good, the bad, and the ugly, they just felt like, okay, if I show this person everything that I am and make them completely miserable on a spectrum, uh, then if they still stay in the end, then they're worth it, right? They are loyal to me. And it's something that they impose upon people in their life, not just with you, but in relationships in general. And uh, they feel really bad about what they've done here. So they made you test your own reality, your own feelings, made you try to feel a specific way uh, that was not really how they were feeling, right? Inside, they had this love for you, but they didn't like who they were, right? They were living in this negative energy and they didn't like that aspect of themselves, that they had to tr truly kind of destroy you in a sense and your character or how you were feeling about yourself, your worthiness, uh, in order for them to feel like they had a fair playing field, okay? Uh, tell me this Nine of Wands. Six of Cups. Yeah, it's like, I know this person will stay. I know no matter what I put them through, this is the one. But I've got to see here. Okay, so it's a lot of manipulations or mind games. Uh, let's see what the challenge was here. Taurus, I just have to say, I'm really seeing your heart breaking here. And uh, it, it you went through a lot of suffering, okay? So uh, for that, I am sorry. Truly sorry. Seven of Swords, Hermit, Seven of Pentacles. Yes, they deceived you, kept truths from you, a lot of secrets, but also played a strategy here. And with the Hermit, they would detach possibly for long periods of time, right? They would definitely show you nothing positive, nothing loving. And as time progressed, the pressure got put on you more and more to where you you got to the point where you weren't seeing anything positive come from this connection. You weren't feeling good about yourself, good about the relationship, and you were like, I'm done. This is not healthy for me. And the Seven of Pentacles, you invested a lot. You know, you really did stick it through, through the hard times here. Uh, but the thing is, is sometimes this person would come back to you when they wanted reassurance or they felt like they needed attention and uh, so it would confuse you in a sense okay so they're maybe they're just going through something right now and you know they do truly care right it would make you judge your own reality um if you were seeing things the right way tell me the seven of swords king of pentacles very unstable um energy here king of king of pentacles and the devil so this person was very possessive of you. You may have felt like they were just playing with you here or, you know, just being cruel on purpose. But in a sense, they were very possessive. If someone were to take you away from them, uh, it would nearly uh, make them feel like their whole world was falling apart. Okay. Tell me about the Hermit. Four of Cups. There's a lot of things that... This person is learning now, okay? So it looks like the universe kind of stepped in here and said, uh-uh, no more of that, okay? This has gone too far for too long, and it kind of held this person up. This person had to learn a very tough, tough lesson in their environment, okay, that you were unaware of and you were kind of kept safe from that. So, uh, you know, you will begin to see here as things kind of get revealed, I'm, I'm noticing, especially with the four wands in your um, current energy, this week, there might be a sweet surprise for you in store as karmic retribution here. So let's see what action they're going to take this week. We have Queen of Cups, Seven of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. This person's getting ready to take a baby step forward, and they have something that they need to say and do, okay, that they want to show you here. So if this reading's resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action this is, what they're going to say to you moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. But if not, if this is your last stop, take care of yourself, guys. You are so, so worthy and so loved, okay, and I will see you next time.